just pull this over. <laughs> Hello, I think. Is this working? I guess it's working. Hello. Um, before I do any, before I do anything else, let me go grab something really quick. I had my phone for some notes. Um, I seem to have misplaced it. Oh, found it. <laughs> Hello. Two things. <laughs> uh, so first of all, uh, welcome. <laughs> Second of all, um, I would like to acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory, uh, the traditional meeting grounds, gathering place, and traveling route to the Cree, uh, Soto, Blackfoot, Métis, Dene, and Nakoda Sioux, and we acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. Uh, and then, second thing, my own little acknowledgement, uh, I think it's important um, that, you know, I, I read those land rights, and uh, I would like to, uh, yes, I did find my phone, Maya, thank you for pointing that out. Um, <laughs> I'd like to read a little of my own acknowledgement, um, basically what I, you know, why I think it's important that we read these rights, um, because investment in the indigenous communities, land rights, and indigenous empowerment uh, is extremely important to natural conservational initiatives, um, as the indigenous population helps control 80% of all bi biodiversity worldwide, um, as well as it closes the in income gap and uh, com combats systemic and institutionalized racism that has been embedded into our Canadian society. And it is important for all of us to do our part to, uh, well, I lost my, where I was, <laughs> um, do our part to defend indigenous rights um, and by extension, the rights of all marginalized groups. And uh, also to, help engage uh, indigenous communities as collaborators in major infrastructure projects and address these intersectional social issues. And I don't need that anymore. Anyways, <laughs> um, hello, I'm Josh. <laughs> I'm a piano player. I go to McEwen. I live in Spruce, but I'm here in Edmonton playing a thing for y'alls. Um, I don't want to talk too much longer because that was a lot of uh, preamble. I'm also going to kick my phone a little farther. I don't want it to vibrate and then distract me. Awesome. <laughs> um, uh, next up, I'm going to be playing a... Well, it's all going to be standards tonight. So many standards tonight. Uh, and I'll be playing alone together next. And I will play another one after that, probably. <laughs> uh, Enjoy the show. <laughs> as soon as I pull up my chart.
Gosh. Hello again. <laughs> Please ignore the fact that I uh, spilled a lot of water. Just on myself, though. All on my pants. <laughs> um, so I played Alone Together after the... Uh, well, the first song was Green Dolphin Street. I forgot to say that. <laughs> um, I did an arrangement of Green Dolphin Street. Very moody. I don't know. I just felt like it. Um, <laughs> And then the second song I did was Alone Together, which I was having so many problems <laughs> with up until, uh, thank you, Chris Andrew, for being a lovely teacher. He told me I should think about playing it like a Bach invention. And I'm a classical nerd. And I was like, what? <laughs> um, so that made it a lot easier for me. So I played, I um, kind of tried to make it sound like a Bach invention. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, because I'm classically trained. And uh, that last one I just played, Hardly Needs an Introduction, Over the Rainbow. I did that one on my uh, recital. I almost said rep jury. Not my rep jury, my recital. Um, and uh, I just love the arrangement so much. I play it far too often. I honestly need to practice something else. Um, anyways, <laughs> let's put that away. Um, this is the part where I put in some banter, but I have nothing to say, so I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> uh, let's see here, what do I have with me? Ah, maybe during this, another short, another very short, well, this is a, just a short arrangement. I just kinda, I just wanted to arrange it. I don't know, I didn't feel like soloing over it. Sometimes just a really nice arrangement that's really open and it's just nice. I don't know. I think it's a nice middle piece. And after uh, some of the heavier stuff that I just played, I think I'm going to do something very nice and open. Still slow. You're going to run into a theme here. I love ballads. I play so many ballads. Um, so this is another one. <laughs> but it's more open and less crazy than the other ones. So uh, this is Mood Indigo.
I just got new glasses and I still can't read anything. <laughs> mostly just because the emojis are so small and I was trying to read what Hazel sent. It was like a paraglider and a Maui head and something else and then a sunglasses emoji. And I'm glad you feel that way when you hear me play Hazel. Uh, that was Moon in a Go. Just a really, you know, quick, nice arrangement. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know how much time I have left, so I'm going to disappear to my phone. Unless I can ask. Am I allowed to ask? 25 minutes. Cool. Um, I was doing math in my head. Um, what else can I play for you guys today? Something longer, I guess. I got to kill some time here. Uh, let's do... I don't need music for this one. Uh, how should I introduce this one? It's a standard. It's one that a lot of people play. Um, this is There Will Never Be Another You. Um, thank you, Dana, for calling me a beautiful boy. And I will be sure to deliver on more musical, uh, be that, mm, mm, beautiful music. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Anyways... This is There Will Never Be Another You. It's a standard. Lots of people play it. I did another arrangement of it. Again, because that's what I do all the time. There Will Never Be Another You. Thank you. 
default feel in my solo is to Latin a lot. <laughs> Straight eighths, who, you know, who doesn't love that? Uh, uh, trying to think what other things I brought with me today. Uh, well, first of all, you know what, while I think about what I want to play next, uh, thank you to the Yardbird. I'm going to do some thank yous. Uh, thank you to the Yardbird. Um, I don't know if they still need a new roof, but that was a common theme for a lot of the other shows. So if they need a new roof, make sure to donate to that. Um, well, the art, thank you to Curtis on the sound. Everyone give him a hand. There's no one here, but I'll give him a hand. Um, who else? Who else? Thank you to my teacher who got me the gig, Stephanie. Thank you very much. Uh, also to Chris for helping me prepare for this gig. Chris Andrew. Another great piano teacher, and also all my piano teachers up to this point, like Rob and Andrew, and so many other names that I can't think of <laughs> right now. Um, uh, thank you to my parents who will pick me up later. And uh, thank you to these lovely charts that I will now skim through and pick another song from. Uh, uh, what else do I even have? Man, I got to think here. Not all of my... Tr I, I have some memorized, so I'm trying to think, what do I have memorized other than what's in here? I guess for now I'll play a chart in here. Um, and hopefully I'll remember the other ones after. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever. I'll think about it later. This is Solar, and I'm just going to jam on this one for a long time. Yes, Graham, parents coming through with the ride. That's almost, that's very often. Um, Solar, I'm going to just jam on this one for a while and see how it feels. <laughs>
Hello again. <laughs> uh, that was Solar. I did that tune in improv last semester. Semester, last semester. Yep, that's correct. Um, once again, Latin solo. I'm going to try to not do a Latin solo <laughs> this next tune. Um, yeah, sometimes I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of what I do is a lot of really long, moody arrangements. And sometimes I just like to go, you know, hit them up with a skitty pop pop and just do st staccatos everywhere. <laughs> um, I got to think about what I have again. Um, oh, got it. I did come here with a set list. I saw Rodrigo. I saw you say I'm picking them on the stand. Which is partially true, I'm just picking the order on the stand. Um, how much more time do I have, actually? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, perfect! Yeah, I can fit ten minutes. Let's do it. Um, I don't have a chart for this one. Follow my heart. I'm doing that. I'm. Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't because I should have an order and I should be way more focused on what I'm playing next. Um, this is There Is No Greater Love, which I've I played a lot of piano in first year, but I like to call this the first standard I actually learned. Because in first year, you know, I just kind of tried my best. In first, I'm, I'm a Cuban, I'm a fourth year. Uh, in first year, I just, I really tried, <laughs> is what I'll say. Uh, this is the first standard that I felt like I actually really did learn. Thank you, Zach. That's another teacher I just thought of. You're amazing. Uh, this is There Is No Greater Love. Trying to decide whether I want to do it fast or slow. Uh, I'll try and keep it middle.
I'll take a half and half solo. Interchanging feels. It's called style. <laughs> um, I guess I only have time for one more. <laughs> Approximately. Um, hmm. Ooh, which to pick? Which one do I want to do to end it? I guess we'll do another ballad. <laughs> Again. <laughs> um... I said all my thank yous. Um, I'll just reiterate them all again. Yardbird, thank you. Curtis, thank you. Uh, teachers, thank you. Um, parents, thank you for picking me up. <laughs> um, uh, and thank you guys. Oh my gosh, I didn't even thank the audience. Uh, thank you for all coming. Uh, I can't see who's all there besides who's in the comments. Um, which there are a lot of, holy moly, I've never seen that many comments in my life on anything I've done. Um, thank you for coming and, uh, keep coming back. There's way more shows and I think everyone, it's, it's nice to have, you know, a nice thing to do in the evening, just to sit back, relax, have some nice music in the background, take care of yourselves. That's what I'll, that's what I'll close with. Um, especially right now. So, uh, and take care of yourselves tenderly, haha, <laughs> because that's the next one, get it? Uh. <laughs> next and last one.
that's fine with the ending there. <laughs> uh, I guess that's it for me. <laughs> that's 45 minutes, right? Oh, perfect. An hour. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect to hit that far. Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, and stay tuned for more, but not from me, from other people. <laughs> um, bye. <laughs> I'll just... <laughs>